I really wanted to do this video because I love jewelry right now. I'm on that like kick of really loving luxury jewelry. So I thought it would be nice or fun to do a wish list of jewelry that I've been loving and I really want to buy within, you know, in the near future or very very near future because some of these pieces that I have on my list are very expensive so I don't really see myself buying it anytime soon but some of them I kind of like want to buy maybe this year or within the next two years or something so if you are interested in watching this video then you should keep on watching <laughs> guys and welcome back to my channel my name is Stephanie here on YouTube and if you like all things luxury fashion lifestyle then you should definitely hit that subscribe button down below and hit that bell to get notified when I upload new videos I jotted down some things that I've definitely been eyeing lately when it comes to seeing things on social media or like other influencers having in their jewelry collection so it's about seven things that I have on my list so I'm just gonna go over them this one I feel like I am probably just a broken record at this point because I've talked about it so many times on my channel but I definitely want to invest in the Cartier love bracelet I think it is just such a beautiful piece and I honestly got to try it on when I went to go get my second love ring here in New York for my vlogmas video so if you guys want to see that you should definitely check it out it's on my channel but I loved it like I had never seen it in person or tried it on before but as soon as I stacked it with the tennis bracelet that I have in my collection it just looked so beautiful it was literally glistening in the light and I was like yeah I, I really have to add this to my collection so I am still debating because I know a lot of my subscribers out there have been saying that maybe I should get the cuff version instead of the regular love bracelet just because if you guys don't know with the love bracelet it does have two clasps where we have to kind of screw it in so you can't really take it off every day you kind of have to keep it on otherwise the screw over time will like start to loosen and you could like honestly just be walking and it just like falls off so that would be like terrible after spending all that money and then just losing it on the street one day so yeah I'm still debating honestly I might get the thin version because obviously the price isn't as expensive as the thicker one and also only has one screw maybe that's going to happen this year maybe not I'm trying to save up for something very very big this year so I don't know if I want to dip my toes in it just yet but it's definitely up there on something of like one of the first things I want to splurge when it comes to adding things to my jewelry list second and I have no idea when I would actually purchase this or if I would ever purchase this in my lifetime but I definitely want to buy a Rolex watch that's actually something that I did get to try on as well and maybe I'd probably go that route which is uh, a pre-loved because a jeweler by by me had sells pre-loved or like gently used Rolex watches and they were actually really nice I got to try the 28 mm size and the 34 mm size honestly I liked both of them I was kind of surprised because I thought the 28 mm was gonna be too small for me but it actually looks very like dainty and very cute I can just see it adding to like my love thin bracelet so I definitely love that so I feel like if I was to like dip my toes into it any time in the near future I'd probably go the pre-loved route because buying a brand new one where I was just going to do my own style to it and build it myself would be a pretty penny so I don't know if <laughs> maybe who knows you just never know what happens in the future but yeah I definitely love the look of Rolex watches and definitely would love to add that to my collection so that is part of my jewelry wish list next and that this would kind of honestly just to be paired with the first thing that I mentioned but the Cartier Just Unclue thin version of that bracelet I think it's really nice and a nice stackable piece to have with a love bracelet if you have one I don't really think honestly I'd like it by itself I think I would honestly like it if it was stacked maybe if I got the thicker version I could see myself wearing it by itself but 
especially the thin version. I would definitely want to stack that in the near future if I ever end up getting the Love Thin bracelet. I think it looks really nice. I still haven't gotten to see that one in person, so maybe I might change my mind because I know the thinner version, it doesn't really have like a clasp to it. It kind of just like bends and that's how you put it on. Whereas the bigger version, it does have like a little clasp in the middle where you take it off and then put it on. So I don't know. I should honestly go to the store and just check it out because Cartier is pretty good with that where even if you're not like trying to buy anything they'll still like let you try on things and have like great customer service and you know just like lets you come in and out whenever you want to. Uh, the next thing on my list and I feel like I keep going back and forth with this but obviously you guys know and I have the unboxing and review of this one but I have the Just Unclue in the small version ring but I got to try on the thicker ring because I feel like now that I have these two love rings stacked like this I feel like the thicker version would look better I don't know like leave a comment down below if you kind of just like the way that this one looks already or if you guys would add a thicker ring to this one of the uh, Justin Clue ring but honestly I don't know I feel like it was a lot heavier when I tried it on and honestly your hands tend to swell during the summertime so I don't know this one really doesn't bother me because it's super light since it's the smaller version but I could see that happening with the thicker one just because when I tried it on the store it already felt kind of tight but I don't know I that's just like on the back of my mind I guess of like where I keep going back and forth like I said but yeah that definitely is questionable but it's on my wish list for jewelry that I would love to have. Next on my wish list is the Cartier Double Just Unclue ring. I'll insert a picture somewhere here but I love the look of that one. Like I think that one I would kind of honestly just wear on its own and wear it on my middle finger and probably get the one with the diamonds on it too on the little nail area. I think that one's like really pretty and I could totally see myself wearing that one as just like a simple ring piece that I'd want to wear. It's nothing like flashy, just like something simple to just put on if I didn't really want that many rings that day. Next on my wish list is a Van Cleef and Arpel in the Mother of Pearl bracelet. Or maybe not even like the, I think there's one that's called like the Tiger something. That one was also really pretty. It's like a brownish looking color. But those look so pretty. I've seen a bunch of people stack them together. But I think that would be a cute piece to add to the stacking with like my love bracelet or my Justin Clue bracelet. Like I think that would look really pretty. So I know for Van Cleef and Arpel sometimes it's kind of iffy with the Mother of Pearl, like the necklace that I have. I can't shower with it. So I feel like that'd be kind of frustrating because bracelets are already kind of annoying to put on and off every day so it's a remember to always take it off when I shower but again like I said it depends on like which color you get so that might not be the case for all of them but either way I really like the look of that one I think it's super pretty so I could definitely see myself even buying more like than one just to have that like cute stack look the last piece that I have wow I feel like all of my pieces were pretty much from Cartier or Van Cleef honestly I feel like those are the two top jewelry places that I love to shop out shop at just because their quality is just amazing their customer service is amazing like I've never been to like a jewelry shop where the customer service is just that good and I like honestly wear their pieces like religiously so I feel like it's a good investment in that way because it's literally something that I wear every single day or would go to sleep with or take a shower with so I think as long as you know you're going to wear that piece a lot I think it's definitely worth the money Money, even though it's like really expensive but in the long run at least it's like something that you just like never take off. Lastly is something again from Van Cleef and Arpel and I forget what the name of this one's called. It's still the Alhambra necklace but it's in the rose diamond color. I will insert a picture here. That one is super expensive but it is also gorgeous. Funny enough I remember when I went to go buy the Mother of Pearl version of that necklace 
I got to try on that one and my fiance actually liked that one better. It was absolutely beautiful but then as soon as I saw the price I was like yeah not today maybe in the future but it's very very pretty and I honestly would love 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 to have that in my collection. I feel like that would be a perfect necklace to wear like for special occasions or even honestly you could probably get away with wearing it for like casual everyday looks but I feel like for me if I was to add that to my collection I would just look definitely wear that for like special occasions and like for like weddings or like fancy dinners and stuff like that or like birthdays. I think that's all that I honestly have on my wish list. It's not a very big wish list but a lot of the pieces that I have add up to probably a very disgusting amount of money so it's kind of good that I have a shorter list for my jewelry wish list because I don't even know what I would do if I had like 20 things on my list from those two brands but I hope you guys enjoyed this video you guys should definitely leave a comment down below of any like luxury jewelry pieces that you would love to have in your dream wish list and thanks again for watching don't forget to subscribe give this video a thumbs up and I'll see you guys out in my next video